we got to talk about this one because the way it ended was first round stoppage disqualification because of an upkick. Random Marcus threw an illegal upkick to Luana Pinero when Pinero had her knees on the ground. Actually, I think when the kick landed, one knee might have been up, but the other was definitely on the ground, right? And there's a lot of debate over whether Pinero is acting or kind of selling this, right? Um, I don't know whether she was or not. I I do think that she there's I think they're exaggerating a little bit. But I think that they're exaggerating like in cases with Aljamain Sterling versus Piotr Jan and in cases like this, I think they're exaggerating out of necessity. I do think that they're hurt. And I think that like they're afraid if they were to stand up and look okay outwardly that they're going to get a lot of they're going to get a lot of fucking hate thrown at them from the general public and a lot of people saying, hey, because the MMA community can be a little bit ruthless. Like, hey, you should have fucking continued pussy, da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? They'll, t- they'll say that type of shit. But for real, that'll be what your reputation will be if you just bitch out on a fight. And I think that in situations like this and like the one that Aljamain Sterling were in, like, if you're compromised due to an illegal blow, you should just have a more open line of communication with the referee. You should be able to say it. And you shouldn't be scrutinized as much as you are. I think you should just be able to be honest. You ate an illegal blow, right? Now, in this situation, it looked to me, and I'm making, and Luana, I'm, if it knocked you out, what, I'm sorry. But it looked to me as if when Luana got hit, she kind of recentered herself, put her hands back to brace for impact. The left hand kind of hits first. She tucks her chin a little bit before she lands. It's not like it slammed up. She definitely wasn't knocked out cold, right? And then she kind of turns over and is like writhing around the same way that Al Jermaine was on the ground. And it's like, I just, I don't think that's how you act when you get knocked out or when you're really hurt. I think you're kind of woozy and actually stumbly and not in control of your motions and stuff like that. Like, I'm not denying that they, I'm not denying that they were, I shouldn't say hurt, right? I think like on the verge of being like knocked out and like that kind of like, it, it's, I don't know. I do think though that you can be like, things can be fuzzy to you and you might be okay to stand up and walk around, but you're kind of like, what the fuck? Like, oh, like I'm getting punched. Like I I could see how you could still be in control of your body, but be processing things like in a way that you shouldn't be, right? In a way that's maybe really slowed down is gonna give you a major disadvantage leading into the fight. So it's like, I think that, you just got to ease off the backlash for fighters when they eat something illegal. And cause you got to look at the, I mean, both of the blows that they ate were hard. Like the blow that Luana Pinero ate against Randa Marcos, that was a hard up kick. Right. And if she feels compromised, I think she should have every right in that scenario to say, Hey, I'm hurt. I can't continue. That's it. I ate an illegal blow. It was a fucking blow that could have knocked me out. I'm hurt right now. I'm compromised. I don't think I should have to continue after that and fight in a compromised state and risk this loss on my record when I shouldn't have had to continue in the first place. You know what I mean? There's just so much pressure on them to continue. I feel like that they feel a need to over exaggerate in order to sell it. I don't think that should be necessary. And uh, yeah, I hope, I hope that doesn't continue. I hope that you either got to fit, you got to fix it too. I feel like, right? Like you either have to like, I think the best way to fix it, to be honest though, and you just make them legal, right? Because when they're made legal, and the other person is aware, like in Aljamain, I'm not saying that like Piotr Jan should have been able to knee Aljamain Sterling in the face or that Randa Marco should have been able to upkick Luana, upkick Luana Pinheiro in the face. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that if you make it legal and the fighters are blat- they're it's obvious to them, like they're aware of it. They can come up with ways to prepare for that throughout their training camp and in their training, Right. And they can be aware of it in the fight and know that they have to stay safe in those positions because they can't just be hanging out on their knees. By the way, being on your knees, if somebody's in front of you and they got two hands on you, right? You're the one in a compromised position. It's not fair that you can work your way back up to your feet in a way that's like not necessarily realistic in my opinion. And it's already a brutal sport. Like you eat flying knees, you eat head kicks, you eat fucking shots. If Francis Ngannou punches you, that's basically a fucking, I feel like it's going to knock 10 years off your life, right? Like Jesus Christ. I mean, it's a brutal sport as it is. And I think that also, I think if you allow it, I don't think you would see it as often as you think. Like Demetrius Johnson, it looked like he made an error in the way that he tried to get up. To be honest, the thing that sucks about it is that you make it legal. But here, I was thinking about this. If you are, 
if the only blow that you can throw to somebody is a downed opponent or punches, if they're in front of you on their knees and you have both of your hands on them, these are your methods of controlling that person. You've earned the right to be in position, right? To throw this knee, in my opinion. That's how I feel. And when you take a hand off and you have to punch somebody and that's your only weapon available, you're sacrificing one of your methods of control. Even temporarily, that's enough time for some guys to capitalize, get a hand inside, start standing back up. I don't think they should be able to do that. I think, honestly, if you're like, oh, how do you stand up? Maybe you don't stand up. Maybe you're in that position and you're coming up to your knees and you just have to fall back to your back so you don't need a knee to the face. And maybe that's the reality, is that you were in a compromised position and you have to go to a worse position now because the position that you were in could have ended the fight. So now you have to go to your back and just maybe you just fall backwards. I mean, seriously, maybe, maybe it's a sacrifice you have to make in that position because it's one that can definitely end your night and one that you should be forced to deal with. And I don't think it makes it easier for guys to just kind of find a, an avenue to stand up in a manner that's unrealistic. Like, if you're in that position and you can't find a way up without getting kneed in the face, you might just have to go to your back and figure out a way up from there so that you stay safe. But if you're aware of it, there's no reason that you can't prepare for it going into the fight, right? That's how I feel about it. I, I think that I think that knees to the down, to downed opponent should be one of those things that are legal, and it's a sport, right? You're always trying to find that balance between sport and fighting. Like it's like I said, it's a brute, but like I don't believe that you should be able to like hit guys in the back of the head intentionally or like elbow them in the fucking spine or like right here. No, I don't believe in that shit, right? Like also nobody's gonna watch that, but like I just think that the knees to the downed opponent thing is like. Uh, I don't, it, it's an iffy one, man, but I, I personally think it should be allowed and that fighters should have to just deal with the reality of that position because you can also, it's like, it's front facing most of the time, right? Like, I'm not saying you should just be able to like, but it's, you're able to see it coming and you know that it's a possibility so you can deal with it. You know, it's not like it's coming from behind you or something like kicks to the back of the head or like when somebody has back control that, I mean, ugh, I mean, Jesus Christ, like I don't really need to see that shit. Like you already got back control, like <laughs> find another avenue to get this guy out of there. You know what I mean? Like transition him out or choke him out or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's 